Hey everyone and welcome to another video. This time I am uploading a video I have uploaded on this channel earlier but I took it down because I was restarting the channel. But uh, I wanted to have it on this channel anyway so uh, I have a bunch of videos I want to upload again. So you can decide if you want to see them or not but um, they will come to my channel and um, I hope you will enjoy them. Hello everybody, Larsen Props here and I'm back again and again with another commentary on this channel and I have to admit that I can't hold my upload schedule where I upload once or twice a week but I think you already know because it has been months since my last upload but here I am again. So instead of promising that I will upload so many times a week or so many times I just upload whenever I want and that is now. So the gameplay you see in the background is some good old Battlefield 3 gameplay from the vanilla game and it saddens me to see the lack of servers here in Europe because that means people are leaving the game and I would be very sad if I couldn't find a server within the next month with people playing. But as long as they just switch to Venice Unleashed, I don't know if they do or not, but I hope so, that would be fine. But that is not what I want to talk about in this commentary, because a lot of things have happened since my last upload. Battlefield 1 have been revealed, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remaster has been revealed as well. And then both Microsoft and Sony have confirmed updated versions of their Xbox One and PlayStation 4. But I will, I will talk about those things in a later video because in this video I'm going to talk about Battlefield 1 and a little bit about some random stuff in the end. So I have to admit that when I first saw the real trailer for Battlefield 1 I was a bit disappointed. Not because the game looked bad but because of the time period. Now I'm not an expert on World War I, in fact I know very little about it, but from what I knew back then I thought it was a period with boring weapons, trains, warfare and so on. I know it was a horrible war, but I couldn't really see it as a game. I know there is Vadon, but I haven't played that game, so. In fact I would have preferred if the time period was a modern day or World War II. Because I think it's a long time since we have seen a World War II game from DICE Studio. So, now we jump from the reveal trailer or the reveal event to E3 where they showed the multiplayer for the first time. And before I saw the gameplay I didn't have any expectations and I didn't even want to buy the game. But then I saw some gameplay and I was actually hyped. The game looked simply awesome. The weapons looked cool and it was not only bolt action rifles as I thought it would be, but also some prototypes and a lot of nice weapons. The map looked cool and the graphics looks very very beautiful. It looks like there is a lot more destruction this time. The weather is changing when you play, so it can be either raining or... I heard some once talk about snowing, that could be very cool as well. And there's just so many cool things and I can't wait to test it out. I really hope this battlefield is going to be a lot better than the, in my opinion, not so great Battlefield 4 and so far it looks like that but on the other hand Battlefield 4 looked also very good before it came out and then it came out and I was very disappointed with all the bugs and just the boring maps. So now I've seen other YouTubers commentary about the game and they are very positive so I hope for the best and I just hope my GTX 970 can handle it at a medium or high with 60 fps because i want to experience the beautiful graphics the game have and 
I have not planned to go out and buy a new computer soon. So, yeah, I hope it can handle it. But I think it will. Maybe not just. Maybe not on high, but yeah, we will see. We will see when it came out, come out. So that was all for Battlefield 1 this time. And now to my random stuff. If you didn't know, the Steam Summer Sale is in full swing right now. And uh, there's a lot of good prices, I think, for some nice games. And I have bought all the Half-Life games for a cheap price. Because I have actually never played through them. And I know, I know, I'm a bad person for not playing that, them through. But I will make up for that now. And I'm thinking about doing a walkthrough, but I'm not sure about that yet. But if you're interested in that, write it down in the comment section. But maybe I will do it as well, or do it anyway. So, yeah. Now, that was all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any positive or negative things to say, please write it down in the comment section. It always helps improving my commentary skills. Otherwise, have a nice day or a nice evening, depending on where in the world you are. And I hope to see you another time. Bye.